Hey everybody, guess what? We have a third doll in this LOL Surprise OMG Fashion Doll Series. This is, and she's obviously from Series 1. There are four in the series. And if you guys have been watching my other videos, you're very familiar with the style of the box, but I will give you guys a closer look that the color theme and print is changed. This one has stripes on it. it says Royal Bee with yellow stripes on the side here. We do have her silhouette which is covered with a darker film over it, but once we slide it open, you, we can see a very cute image of the doll. On the back, it is the same as the other dolls that we've seen. So if you guys want to pause, you can read that. We have Lady Diva, Swag, Neonlicious, and Royal Bee in this series. And if you guys want to watch my previous videos, I have done Diva and Neonlicious. Swag is going to be last. And I'm just so excited. Each one of these dolls has just been such like a pleasure to open because there's so many little things in it. And I really am enjoying that. You know, I really... I like the concept of the yellow surprise ball, like the little dolls, but something about opening up a big doll like this where we slide it and get the little pieces out and we have so many cute things that like I'm, I'm really appreciating what MGA did with this. And with every single one I'm opening, I'm actually liking them more and more. So here, let's slide it open. I already took the plastic piece that was around the outside. So we grab on one side, we already cut the tape, we have a yellow, ooh, we got some yellow going on, obviously to go with the B theme. So here it says Unbox Fashions, and as we've seen, the box styling is the same with all of them so far. So we have fashions on this side, doll on this side. So let's cut out the fashions and take a closer look. And we have Fashion Magazine Fall 2019, What's Your Sign? Her sign is a Scorpio, and that is October 23rd to November 21st. It says, Queens don't always have to, oh, Queens always don't have to rule alone. Make some time with your royal BFFs. That is so cute. I love her. I cannot wait to get her out. She's just going to let you know right now, I may get a little too excited because from images online, she looked like Scary Spice from the Spice Girls, and I'm a huge Spice Girls fan, so I'm, I'm really, like, dying to get her out. <laughs> but I want to stay in order of the unboxing process. So you do the accessories first. We have this cute hat box. I love the coloring they did on this one. The black with the gold glitter. So pretty. Very, like with this packaging, very different. I can see the personalities of each of the dolls in this. Like this one is very bougie, very kind of royal looking. We got some obviously Louis, Louis Vuitton type of like stuff going on right here. Like I'm really feeling this. Like this packaging is so cute. I love how everything is individually wrapped with paper that goes with that particular doll. I think that is just an extra little touch that I'm really feeling. And this one has, ooh, whoa, we got some very interesting sunglasses. They have some interesting sunglasses on these dolls. Like, neon sunglasses were so weird. And so is this one. And then inside we have, oh, wow, look at all this jewelry. This looks so nice. Look at the earrings. Gorgeous. I would definitely, definitely wear those. Oh, my gosh. Look, oh, wow. All right, all right. So far, <laughs> the accessories are winning me. Like, look how nice these are. These are very, very pretty. Now, they are just plastic, as you can hear, but they look very well done. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I love that they have little embellishments and everything in it. Oh, oh my gosh. It's, it's something that, like, I would definitely want to wear, and it's so cute. And going into the shoe box, it is gold. They're all, they're six and a half, so they are interchangeable shoes within the four dolls. I definitely want to do a what to wear. I had some people asking if these clothes would fit on other brats, and if the brats' clothes will fit on them. So we have to see. And then opening up this, let's see, got more yellow paper. What kind of shoes does she have, you guys? Do you guys know? Have you zoomed in and checked out pictures online? Ooh, oh, and it matches the box. How cute is that that is really cute and they're like a squishy rubber so they're gonna be easy to put on good because sometimes shoes i've noticed are a little hard to put on and i don't really like that too much i like when they're just easy to slip on they're kind of like cowboy boots style but with the black and gold glitter and then the gold painted accenting i just like that they actually have painted accenting on this that it's not just a bland like it's a multi shoe no there's glitter in it and there's also painted accenting that is an extra touch of detail i do appreciate from mj for doing that now going into the outfits oh these bags these are nice bags like i mean Yes, they're just paper, <laughs> but I'm saying the actual, like, quality of it is so... I love the print. Whoever chose the print on this, really, I can feel like... 
I know this doll. Like, I know this girl. If this was a real person, I could really, like, go, okay, I know what she wears. I know what she likes to listen to. I know what kind of vibe she's trying to put out there. You know, I mean, like, it really gives me, like, a combination of, like, I saw someone post on this earlier that it was a mixture of Beyonce and Scary Spice. And I was like, um, hello, iconic. Love that. <laughs> like, that is so true. <gasps> wow. Look one of my favorite jackets. I know I said that about neon, but this one, look at that, has that to go with the sunglasses. The print is giving me almost a little bit of a Michael Jackson 90s early like vibe, which is funny because with the Diva doll, it gave me Madonna vibes with her hair. All right, design team, are you into the 90s? Because I'm loving this. This is just awesome. And the pleather material with this like almost gold, kind of snakeskin type of material in that as well. So we have definitely diff three different layers of like different materials in this. And then of course the body form inside, just loving it, loving that so much. Now I did notice there is no like bar inside the reusable box that becomes a closet to hang these in. I would have liked to have seen that, but that's okay though, because look at the quality on this. Outstanding. Uh, look at this Louis Vuitton. Like, this to me looks like, if you didn't tell me, I would have been like, wow, so this is a Louis Vuitton bag? Like, like if I just saw this somewhere and I didn't know it was doll sized and the little bees on this, like, I feel like this is something I can definitely see out there. Like, this is just so cute. Like, oh my gosh, like, hello, Jeffree Star would buy this. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like, let's be real. Like, we know he would. This is definitely up his alley. Let's see if I can get this out without ruining the packaging. And this one is a body form, but I like how everything goes together. So we have more of the black glitter with the gold, or excuse me, black plastic with the gold glitter. And we have these really, like, cool, very interesting. They're see-through? Oh, they are see-through, which I've seen a lot in fashion right now. Like, I mentioned it before about being trendy on Instagram. It is true. They are see-through. So I wonder what kind of bodysuit she has. But I've seen that where somewhere is a bodysuit underneath, and then we have the see-through pants. I mean, we've seen that in Coachella images. We've seen that out now in, like, music and what pop stars wear. So this is definitely what's going on right now in fashion. And I... I know some people are going to throw hate on it, but that's what's out, you know, and if, if MJ is noticing that, I have to give them credit for that, for staying, noticing what is going on, you know, staying on what's, staying on the up and up, so to speak, on what's out there, but these are, and the fabric's very, like, interesting, like, it's thin, but it's got a good texture to it, so, ugh. Lo so far great and I don't know why I keep saying queen bee it's royal bee you know me I just can't read names and I'm oh that is so cute and I'm always like I'm just so excited because I love the accessories so much so I'm freaking out all right so royal bee not queen bee uh, <laughs> but she's a queen to me uh in her dressing room love this vibrant yellow this vibrant yellow is just looking so beautiful I love how they have their little sisters out there it's so cute now I'm gonna need all four of these in the LOL mini size here because everybody's been posting pictures of them together and now I need it. Thanks guys. See, you're gonna just make me go spend money on eBay. <laughs> Look at the little purse because all the dolls have their purse on an image here. We have the PB Boutique. Um, oh, look at these socks. Loving this. I'm definitely getting my Spice Girls Beyonce vibes through this doll. I, oh, I can't wait to get her out. Gorgeous. Just absolutely loving it. Oh, I know she, and everybody's been saying like, oh, their heads are kind of big and strange, but you know what? It works with them. I feel like it works. And for her mirror, we have a zigzag pattern, which like the other ones are, you can kind of, I mean, I'm going to leave mine in there, but you can pop it out of the cardboard if you wanted to, but I'm going to leave it all in there. I like it in the little box and I have all the accessories together. We got her out of the box. Look at this hair. I love that there's so many different tones. There's like some rich golds in it. We've got some chocolate browns. I love the little buns in the front with the gold wrapping. Again, come on. Somebody had to have been like, hey, I'm really into the Spice Girls. Let's add that to the doll. Like, she looks so cute. Now, in the image, her hair is pushed down like this. But this one, I mean, her hair is just so thick, though. It's going to just kind of do this naturally. I wonder... If you're good with hair, you might be able to reshape it, but this was just how it came right out of the box. So we have some curls kind of falling down here out of place and stuff, so I might try to like push that up there. But I like it big and poofy, but yeah, like I said, in the images she is having her hair down. On her face we've got bright, bright gold lips. There's a little bit that's chipped. I don't think the camera can see it, but there is a little chip on there. Her eyes are good. There's like, I mean, they're not perfectly centered. There's a little gapping on this side, but nothing to where I'm like, oh my God, she has wonky eye. No, she, you know, it's just, it's like a little, a little bit, just a little. And then we have some painted on baby hairs around the hairline. But 
I, I mean, it's cute. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the painted on hairline thing um, with like baby hairs, but I can see it goes with the image. Eh, mm -hmm. Not a big favorite. She does have quite a bit of blush on her cheeks here, which is so funny because like her eyes are so big that her cheeks are underneath like her chin, like or underneath her jaw, which is funny. You know what I mean? Far away doesn't look bad, but it, you know what I'm saying? Like her, her cheeks are so low because her head is so round. Uh, it's so funny. And we have the same body style where we have obviously the super curvaceous hips and you can definitely see that in this outfit. This is definitely a, you know, <laughs> I keep referencing like Scary Spice and Beyonce just because the outfit, this is something I have seen Beyonce wear <laughs> and I love it. I'm feeling it so much. And she does have snap knees on this and the articulation is the same on the arms. She has the glittered gold black socks. Definitely a theme that I can see with this doll because everything is black with gold glitter. Loving that. And then let's check out my favorite thing on these dolls, which is why they sucked me in so bad when I saw the pictures. Look, let me see if I can get it to focus on these gorgeous, gorgeous nails. Like, absolutely. It's strange, I know, but I love it. I think it's so cute. It's so different. We do see, you know, obviously dolls with painted nails, but normally it's just a dot. It's like, ding, dot, that's it. This actually is long nails. Like, she actually has, like, if she went out and either had really healthy nails or got acrylics. And this is just so pretty. Like, the hyper-realistic, like, wrinkles in the finger even, like, ah! Again, it's strange, but I'm loving it. Like, I want this to be in more dolls. Like, I want that in more dolls. Like, I can imagine her, like, if you saw this, but with, like, a different head on, like, a brat's head or something, like, that... I don't know, just, I'm mean, sucking me in. It really, really, really is. I'm loving that. And again, she's super curvy, super curvy. <laughs> uh, I don't know, she's, I get, uh, again, going back to the big head thing, I get it. She has a huge head. It looks a little off with the body sometimes, but I feel like it still works. Now let's go into the accessories and put her clothes on. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Look at these earrings, look at this belt, and like the shoes, like you're like, at first you're like, oh, the pants are too long, but the shoes literally are flush with the pants when she stands up. That is cool. That to me, I really like that there's not too much wrinkling going on when she's standing up, the pants are straight down. Now this is a choker style necklace, but it's so tight, the plastic, and with my nails, I'm having trouble getting it on her. I'm sorry, you guys. I can't give you guys the full, like here, let's stick that there. There you go. Hey! <laughs> there you go! So you get to see that. I mean, I'm sorry, it's not perfect. And then we have her glasses, which aren't really sunglasses. They're more of just like fashion glasses, I guess you can say. Yeah, look at that. Oh, giving me 90s vibes with those skinny glasses. But yeah, there she is with her outfit on. I think she looks great. Now we do have a stand. Let me show you guys this. And it does have the seat option that we've seen on the other ones. So you just slide that on. And if you guys want to see, you know, more detail on that, watch the other two videos. I don't want to kind of do the same thing for you guys. And then here is the stand for her around her waist. Nice and sturdy. Does hold them up great. We also have da -da -da, a gold brush. I think I didn't show Neon's brush for some reason in the other video, but she does come with one. They all do. Uh, Neon Licious. Neon Licious's. <laughs> her brush was a, a green, very vibrant green. This one's gold. Everything's just very, I feel like every piece that I've picked up with all these dolls are very on brand to that doll. Like here, oh, I cut the bag. I didn't take it out yet. I didn't take it because it's very tight. You know, everything goes together so well with each of these dolls. All right, this does not want to. Why are you stuck? It's very, the purse is very thick. Oh, there it is. Oh, wow. Whoa, this, I mean, this is a purse you can just swing at people. Like, look at this thing. It's like, <laughs> it's so heavy. It's so detailed. And look at it. It's, oh, wow. That is awesome. That is so great. Oh, even fits her little choker in there that doesn't fit on her neck very well because I got long nails and I can't do it. <laughs> but this purse is nice. Like, look, and even the strap's movable on it. Like, it actually has, like, a little hinge in there. Like, this is really... Let me give you guys a close-up detail. So, so good. Look at that. That is insane. I'm loving that. That is so pretty and has such good detail to it. Really heavy quality. Ugh. Oh. I'm living, living for it. Comment below as we show you these pieces here. What was your favorite out of this? We love the body forms. Honestly, my thing is I love this bag. To me, it's Louis Vuitton. It's a pretty. 
It's so nice. It's like, I want to just have this hanging up in a doll closet somewhere. Like, it's so bougie. It's so cute. Um, things I don't like, I'm not really... The closet's are alright. I'm not feeling it. I, I, mm, eh, mm. The silver's throwing me off. I like how the silver matches the shoulder pads on her top. Like, it actually goes together. But I, I'm kind of just feeling more the gold accessories on her than anything else. I love that she gives me Spice Girl vibes. Yes, I absolutely love the Spice Girls. And one thing with this doll, let me show you guys the hair. Um, what do you not see? Oh yeah, what is that scalp? Like, if I have to really, here it is, there's her scalp. I have to really dig in there to see it. But she's got so much hair. So much hair. And it's so nice. Like, it feels very nice. Like, she does look really cute when her hair is down. Maybe I'll try to get something to like lay it down then. I don't know. We'll see. I, I liked it poofed up. Uh, to me, it was just giving me scary spice. So comment below. What do you guys think? I mean, I got this at Target. It was $26.99. Um, I know they were going to be available, I think, Target and Walmart and Amazon coming up soon. So absolutely feeling it. Honestly, she didn't really have that many flaws. I think the little chip here, her eye a little like not perfectly symmetrical, but Overall, though, really, really nice. Loving the jacket and those nails, man. Like, I want to get another body of these just to put on a different doll. Like, I just love it. And if you guys want me to do, once I unbox all four, do a major, like, let's tear up into it, let's discuss the good and the bad, and final thoughts on the OMG fashion dolls, I will do that. I think that would be a good, like, kind of hit up all the dolls, talk about everything, and if you guys want me to do that, comment below. I've been posting a lot on Instagram on these girls, like I'm, so far, getting my, getting my approval. <laughs> Bye guys!